Hey folks, how are you doing? Are you well? As you can see, left the bike. It's just gone half one in the afternoon. To start, so he started a whole lot differently. Uh, just want to chill this morning, go for your own pace and hit the alarm a few times. Eventually got up, had a nice breakfast, bought some sausages and bacon and some beans that I brought with me and a bit of a fry up this morning, that was nice for change. Normally I just go for like porridge or have a bowl of cornflakes or something like that. But what the hell, it's just a little bit different. So where am I? You're probably wondering. Apart from uh, a field full of uh, sheep poo. Well, I've come to, uh, I'll just cross over the border into England. Now, although it's day four of the holiday, it's no day longer day four in Wales. I'm here, back in England, Shropshire. Got a commute in my pocket. Following that, uh, through a little bit of a route. Can't remember how far it is. I think it's 13K. So, so it's going to take three hours to do it. And the route is basically, it's a loop of uh, the Stiper Zones. And so that's what I'm going to be doing today. Uh, I've got everything with me in terms of food, drink, waterproof, just in case that Welsh weather follows me here, which is kind of the reason why I wasn't keen to be cycling in Wales today. Because it was just misty and murky again. So I thought I'd come a bit, bit further east. Right, I'm already feeling like I should take a layer off. So I'm just going to get up to that next gate, beyond the field full of cow poo. I actually did an Audax early this year. It's one which was organised by Brandon Edgley, sent of the Cypher Stones. If I can find it, I'll stick a link in the corner somewhere so you can go watch it back. Even my, I might as well, just to remind myself when that actually was. This coming weekend, Two days time, I'll be uh, doing a full day at work and then driving to Bristol to meet up with the one and only Adam Watkins. Now, if you don't know who Adam Watkins is, perhaps you just join him the channel because it says hike or something like that in the title. He's, uh, he's another YouTuber who does a lot of long distance cycling, just like myself, and does lots of Audax riding as well. Audax being uh, an organization here in the UK that organizes events throughout the year. And one of those events is, uh, is the ride, the Moonrakers and Sunseekers. So I'm going down on Thursday night, like I said, working remotely. Fr the ride starts Friday evening, 10 p.m. So I'm gonna be catching up with Adam uh, Thursday night. We're gonna be riding together on the Friday. His uh, entry has been um, confirmed. There was a waiting list, it's quite a popular event, but obviously somebody's changed their mind. So they're going to be joining us, going around that route. Uh, I'll tell you more that about that in the actual video itself. The last instruction from commute was to follow this path 400 meters. That's probably going to take us to them some rocks just up there. The hiking is not my normal territory, but I did promise I was going to do more of it this winter coming. Peak District is the closest for me, and I'm gonna do mix that with some wild camping. Uh, but much of winter, I will also be moving to mums and dads, and they live on the east coast in a little village close to Cleethorpes. So, some of those adventures, if the weather's really bad, Lincolnshire Wolds. I do some wild camping in Lincolnshire Wolds, some bit of hiking, there's loads of trails and things. Maybe I'll get a cheap mountain bike and follow the Viking Way, something like that. The way's coming in already. What an epic view that is. That's a beautiful location, this.
Would you look at that? Just at the crest of this hill, and I don't know if you can see it, centre picture there. A pillar right on top of that pile of rocks. And that's where I'm heading. So I know it's not December. Let me further up from that spot where I just had lunch. I'll have a quick lunch. Oh, look at this place. <laughs> That's rather geometric. I wonder how the stones got here. Wow. <laughs> you wouldn't believe I'm uh, scared of heights, would you? <laughs> so I got another kilometre worth of climbing on here before I come down the other side. Definitely got chillier now and exposed to all that wind. Well, I hope you're enjoying this video. It's, uh, it's for me as much as it is you guys. Probably tell behind me there. So I'll get enshrouded in the mist again, low cloud. And uh, well, the night's probably coming in as well. I don't know what time it is, but it must be close to uh, the sun getting to set. I think probably another, I can certainly tell the light's sort of failing now. According to Kamut, I've walked four and a half kilometers so far and there's still nine to go. I must have been walking really, really slow. So this loop at the end, I'm going to probably cut it off and start to descend the sniper stones. Because once I'm off here, I've still got about a three hour drive home, so it's been a good day. So I'm coming up to a crossroads at some point soon and I'm just going to veer off the left and follow wherever the track takes me down. It's moments like this where something triggers in my head. Uh, some thoughts from Land's End to Johnny Groves. And when I started, there was a young lady who took it, taken two and a half months off work to walk from Land's End to Johnny Groves. And, you know, I come up here, I think to myself, could I do that? And to be honest, I don't think I've got the patience for it because it takes forever to get anywhere. I mean, I'm, I could ditch my job uh, and walk two and a half months. Yeah, sure, but would have really enjoy it you, know, you can get so much further on a bike can't you and go different places and the pace of it's all different all it's just completely different i don't think i could do that on foot it would be an amazing achievement maybe maybe uh you know and, well maybe i won't retire but then will i have the uh, energy to be able to do it who knows Yeah, this definitely wouldn't have been so much fun in the pitch black. <laughs> I mean, how many people hike after dark? Even in the movies, you know, the, 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 they put a campfire up, don't they? You know, Lord of the Rings, they'll put the campfire up. Robin Hood, that's it, that's campfire for the night. <laughs> It's a hard descent. It's hard on the knees anyway. There's a climb again before this is over. Unless I go down onto the road, I might do that. Don't know. I got a backlight ever. <laughs> yeah. Nice wild camping spot. But it's right on the actual trail itself. But you know, if 
we get here late enough, leave early enough. Why not? You're not hidden at all. But still, what a spot. Do you ever feel like you've been watched? Hello. How did you get up there? What's that? Hmm. Oh, creepy tree. Hello. Your cockerels. Cock off. It's the final, final stretch now back to the car. Well, a big hill. I think if you're thinking about doing the hiking of the diaper stones, you will uh, need to keep some energy back for this bit. Bear in mind, I haven't done the loop because we're now daylight hours. This final bit, back to the car park at the mine, ain't enough hard work. As you can see, had a bit of a wardrobe change. That super dry jacket certainly ain't breathable at all. So what do I think to this route? For a relative beginner, hiking wise, I've got really strong endurance really healthy um, still, it's still a challenge definitely a challenge um, it's probably if I was going to do it again I'd set aside more than three hours it's going to probably take about five I think especially if you just want to take it in and enjoy it and not race around and if you're racing around you're still going to have to go some speed I think but me I'm just taking in the views I've had the camera with me, I've been capturing loads of good stuff. So I always save that a little bit longer anyway. There's no prizes for go riding as quick as possible. But there's that sunset. Wow. Who doesn't like a sunrise or a sunset picture? You can never get enough, can you? Right, I think I'm done with this vlog. Last hill, it's all downhill from here. What a great walk. Highly recommend it. And look at that over there. Can you see? Probably not. Send to the picture there. And uh, I think that's my way down the hill again. Sniper zone's right there. From me, take care. I'll see you in the next vlog. Bye bye. After all this lonesome traveling, tell me happen to be back home. But it just leaves me thinking. Out of places